Plan A, how are you this evening? Thanks so much for being here. I'm Sarah Cruz. I'm our membership director here at WDNA. How many of you are WDNA members here this evening? Yes, excellent. Thank you so much for supporting WDNA. As you know, we just wrapped a spring fundraiser this past week. So thank you so much for supporting the station. You make this place possible. Um, and it's really great to be back together here in this space. Thank you for being accommodating. We are flexing and changing in the moment. It won't always be the same. And we thank you for you know being flexible and, and keeping us all safe together here in this space that we all really value and appreciate. Um, WDNA, how many of you is it your first time here? Show of hands. Excellent, great. Okay, so WDNA is pretty special. This is community public radio. So in addition to broadcasting and streaming jazz, blues, world music, we get to do this. We get to have live concerts in this community space, and we're so grateful to folks who contribute to make this possible. Um, and that includes our sponsors, who I will thank shortly. And this is our Jazz Encounter series. We do this every second Friday of the month. And the cool part about it is that there's an educational component. So we start the evening with an excellent concert. Tonight, of course, we know we're all here to see Martin Bejarano and his trio. And then following the concert is a jam for student musicians led by Nicole Yarling of the Jazz Education Community Coalition. So we're really excited to be back to doing this concert in particular. And then she'll tell you more about the additional component on Saturdays with the workshop. Um, I also want to thank our sponsors, Musicians Discount Center, the Miami-Dade County Division of Cultural Affairs, the Deering Estate, the Pelican Harbor Seabird Station, and South Arts, who do a lot of work to unlock the South's full potential. We're very grateful for their support for this evening. And I want to just tell you about a couple of other things. Make sure you save the dates for our next encounters, May 13th. We have a young, excellent trumpeter. Janelle Finton will be here with her group. And then June 10th, Jennifer Wharton. She's a trombonist. We're flying down from New York, along with John Fedchok. And this is a pretty unique arrangement. There's, I believe, four or five trombones in this group, plus a rhythm section. Yeah, so it's going to be super cool. So save those dates. And then also, want to keep you in the know because we are all about education and enriching our community here at WDNA. We have a scholarship program happening right now for young South Florida musicians. So if you have one in your family or you know of one, please let them know. We're offering a full scholarship to the Litchfield Jazz Camp up in Connecticut. It includes round trip airfare. Uh, a $500 cash reward, all room and board, fully paid tuition, study and perform with jazz greats, and then they're also going to perform at the Litchfield Jazz Festival. So you can check out our website, wdna.org, for information about the scholarship program, about our future concerts, and also if you would like to make a donation of support. So, um, I also want to thank our staff here at WDNA who helped make this possible. Alex Audrich is our technical director and our audio engineer tonight. <laughs> Brian Barrientos is our production assistant in running lighting and our video live stream. And Jen Torna, who is our membership and development assistant who you met at the front door. And also Ernesto Perez Mendez, who's here also helping us tonight. And I want to thank, most importantly, you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this night, for supporting community public radio, jazz with the purchase of your tickets, live music, and, a, and an intimate listening space, because what we're doing here is special, and it is unique, especially here in South Florida. So thank you for being part of it. And without any further ado, I want to pass it over to Nicole Yarling of the Jazz Education Community Coalition, who is uh, our fearless leader and who we produce this concert with. So. Please welcome Nicole. I'll keep it relatively short. <laughs> good, good evening, everyone, and welcome. And as Sarah said, first of all, Sarah's amazing. Sarah is coordinating all of this stuff. I'm a musician. She's got a, an amazing brain, and she put all, a lot of the uh, work together. Uh, so one big round of applause to Sarah Cruz. 
Thank you, Sarah. Um, believe it or not, this has been happening for 13 years. It doesn't feel like it, but I've watched people grow up and go off to school. I am so grateful to WDNA for what they, um, what they provide for us and for the community. Um, just really quickly, Zach and Nicole um, are newlyweds, and I, I just wanted to point that out. Zach did, actually, Zach did a Jazz Encounters. When, when did you do the Jazz Encounters? All right, so they're, they're, they're newlyweds, and Zach and I are, are well, we work together. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Um, so tomorrow uh, is a workshop, and it's open to everyone. Uh, we charge a lot of money, a big $5. Um, it's geared towards young people, but we're doing a, a, an extra component now. Um, when these musicians come in, you hear them musically, but you don't really get to know a lot about them. So I thought it would be interesting, we're gonna do a talk back for the first 45 minutes or an hour, and I'm gonna sit down and ask Martin several questions, and whoever attends, feel free to do the same. Um, and this is gonna become a part of what we do on the regular. The other two hours are devoted to young musicians that come and wanna learn about the music. So, like I said, it's free and open to the public, or not free, it's $5, um, big $5, between one and four tomorrow afternoon, right here in the gallery. Um, this young man is very, very special to me. Uh, we've worked together over the years. I've known him, um, oh gosh, for at least what feels like 20 years. He's an amazing, Musician, I don't know if, I think they're on equal par. His, he as a human being and his musicality. Um, he's a, an, an amazing composer and a, just an incredible human being. And you're going to enjoy uh, the music you'll hear tonight. I believe some of it or all of it is from his new recording. Without further ado, Mr. Martin Bejarano.
Thank you so much. It's so great to be back here at WDNA Studios playing uh, with everything that's been going on. I can't, it's been a long time since I played here, especially with my own band. So I'm really happy to be back and great to see you. Uh, so thank you so much for coming out and uh, checking out the concert. How about a big hand for Ludwig Afonso on the drums? <laughs> a little quick story before I uh, introduce this next gentleman. Um, so uh, the, the bass player in my trio, who lives in New York and who's on the record and stuff, calls me at 6.30 in the morning and says, well, the uh, airline said my flight was canceled or my reservation was canceled. So it's a very long story, but he wasn't able to make it today. Uh, there were no other flights. It was a big disaster. But luckily, I have an amazing friend uh, who pitched in at literally the 11th hour, and I sent him all this music at, like, noon, and he... <laughs> is some tricky music and he's done an amazing job putting it together so you got to give like a huge big hand to my old dear friend and killing bass player Alex Hernandez yeah so yeah thank you so um, this uh, a lot of this music is off uh, my new CD which is kind of like a pre CD release uh, concert because it releases until May 27th but uh, if you want, you can get a sneak free, uh, not free copy, sorry, a sneak copy, it's not free. Uh, well, we'll see how, we, how things go. Um, uh, at, at the front, uh, when, you, when you leave, if you like, and uh, it, it uh, features a whole bunch of, of new music that I've written um, that you'll be hearing a lot of uh, tonight. So that first one uh, was a tune called Mi Cafetal, which is actually an old Colombian uh, song that I thought, you used, used to think it was a Cuban song, but it's not, it's a Colombian song. Yes, yeah. My, our Colombian percussionist who plays on the record quickly corrected me about that. Uh, so um, that's my arrangement of, that's a very old, old song from the 50s, I believe. And that's my uh, little arrangement on that. The next one I'm going to do is, uh, that we're going to do is an original uh, composition uh, that I wrote over the pandemic. And this is called Lonely Planet.
Thank you so much. So that was uh, a great Sonny Rollins uh, classic composition uh, entitled Doxy, and we just like to go a little weird with that one. That's okay. <laughs> the fun. We don't have to learn a lot of arrangement for that one, so that's nice. Uh, whatever should we do next? Let's see. How about, um, I don't know, what are you guys feeling like? A little You Know Bailo, you know Bailo or a little origin story? Let's do, let's do You Know Bailo. A song, it's the third movement of a suite that I was commissioned to write by the Chamber of Music America called the Cuban American Suite, which is kind of the genesis of this new album. And uh, this is the, actually the last uh, movement in the suite, and it's called Yo No Bailo, because I was always the Latin uh, guy at the party who didn't know how to dance salsa. Uh, I'm half American, so I blame it on that. And uh, so I wrote a song that nobody could ever possibly hope to dance to. So. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe you could, we'll see. If you feel like dancing, you think you can go for it? There's a big dance floor right here.
See, I told you you couldn't dance to it, right?
Thank you so much. How about a hand for Alex Hernandez on the bass? Yeah, big one. Learning all this music so fast, it's really amazing. It's an amazing job, man. So thank you once again. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. And the great Ludwig Alfonso on the drums. <laughs> that uh, last piece was the second movement of the suite uh, that I mentioned, um, and that one is called Origin Story. Um, and if you want to hear the first movement, you have to buy the CD, unfortunately. It's, it's over there, because we're not going to play it tonight. Uh, um, thank you so much once again for coming out. A huge thank, uh, thank you to one of my dearest friends and one of the most amazing musicians, singers, and violinists that I know in the world, Mrs. Nicole Yarling, for having me here. Really appreciate it. And thank you to WDNA, they just did a pledge drive. I hope they got a lot of money because it's such a great place and such a special place. Uh, so thanks to WDNA for always supporting uh, the, the live music and jazz in this town. It's, it's really wonderful. Uh, all right, the last tune we're gonna do. So this is another one of those songs that I thought was an old Cuban song, but it's also an old Colombian song. So I don't know what that means. Uh, and this is a, a kind of a, a deranged arrangement of, uh, a song that has two titles. It's, I think the official title is uh, um, Ay Cosita Linda, which means pretty thing. And, but it's also sometimes called um, Anoche Soñé Contigo, which means that uh, night I dreamt of you. Uh, so this is our, our final uh, tune. Thank you so much once again, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. We had some laptop problems, so I've been looking at this all night thinking, like, what's this thing going to do? I'm actually going to use it, but let's see if it's working.
Ludwig Alfonso on the drums, yeah. Alex Hernandez on the bass. My name is Martin Bejarano. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the music. If you like it, take some home with you. The CD's out there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nicole. And thank you, WDNA.